Trevor Noah comedians are baffled by Trump's Rocket Man nickname for Kim Jong-un. You can't call someone Rocket Man in the same speech where you're threatening to launch rockets, Corden said. Late night hosts were both baffled and amused by President Donald Trump's threatening United Nations speech Tuesday. Trevor Noah, Seth Meyers, James Corden and Jimmy Fallon were all hysterical over the latest stand-up comedy our president so graciously provided. If Trump didn't have power or nuclear weapons, I think that would be a pretty dope show, Noah said. Noah found it difficult to keep himself together as he attempted to analyze how Trump threatened to totally destroy North Korea at the United Nations General Assembly, noting it was more like an insult comic roasting the world. In fact, if Trump didn't have power or nuclear weapons, I think that would be a pretty dope show, Noah said. The late-night host introduced his speech by explaining that if you're watching his show and excited for the assembly, you either don't live in New York City or you're strangely fascinated by diplomatic shade throwing. Although expectations were high, Noah was baffled by how many times Trump mentioned that he was the president of the United States and used his title to try to convince each world leader to run their country the way he sees fit. I don't know what's more insane. The fact that Donald Trump just stood in front of the United Nations and threatened to wipe out the country of 25 million people, or the fact that he followed that up with Rocket Man. Myers started his monologue off by analyzing Trump's cute nickname for Kim Jong-un, which actually isn't all that insulting. Why are you calling him Rocket Man? Myers asked. That's not a diss, that's a cool nickname. You're making him sound like a character for Top Gun. Then? The late-night host started to examine the continued investigation of Trump's ties to the Russian government, and joked that Washington, D.C., should be scared because special counsel Robert Mueller looks like the door knocker on a haunted castle. After citing a lawyer who told the New York Times that the investigation is more consistent with how you'd go after an organized crime syndicate, Myers joked, that is so unfair. How dare anyone call the Trump administration organized? They're basically running the government like a Rwamba. Yeah, we just go until we hit a wall and then go somewhere else, and we suck the whole time. Corden, on the other hand, was puzzled by the irony of Trump calling North Korea's dangerous leader Rocket Man. You can't call someone Rocket Man in the same speech where you're threatening to launch rockets, he said. That makes you both Rocket Man. You're all Rocket Man. The CBS Late Night host was also surprisingly excited when Trump announced at his in-person tweet talk, also known as the United Nations Conference, that he was going to destroy North Korea. That could only mean one thing, Corden said. Guys, it means he's going to run for president of North Korea. Fallon told a similar joke about Trump's threat to destroy North Korea, he said he has a good plan to do it, too. He said he's going to run for president of North Korea. Fallon also went in Mueller's investigation into Trump's former campaign chairman Paul Manafort, and played a clip of him stuttering through a CBS interview when pressed about his relationship with Russian officials. His lawyer was like, Do you want to plead guilty or really, really guilty, Fallon joked.